Welcome back, Kings fans. It's Matt Murray from LifeInHockeywood.com. It's day 16 of the King Kovalchuk Watch 2010. And there's no news to report. The one thing that I can report was that Ilya Kovalchuk was indeed in Los Angeles last weekend. He was there with his agent, Jay Grossman, to be wined and dined by the Los Angeles Kings. I guess he toured the training facility, met with some players, was carted around Hollywood to try and find Lindsay Lohan before she got sent off to rehab, followed by a nice steak dinner at Sizzler, or something like that, and then he left, without a contract. He went back to his home in Florida, leaving his agent back in Los Angeles. Honestly, it kind of sounded like a first date between Kovalchuk and the Kings, and it made you wonder if Dean Lombardi sounded like Mikey from Swingers. Hi, this is Nikki. Leave a message. I just got out of a six-year relationship, okay? That should help explain why I'm acting so weird. I just wanted you to know that. Hi, Nikki. This is this is Mike. Could you just uh, call me when you get in? I'm going to be up for a while, and I'd just rather speak to you in person instead of trying to fit it all into the... Mike? Nikki! Great! D did you just uh, walk in, or were you, were you listening all along? Don't ever call me again. Wow! I, I guess you're home. So the other thing I can report on is that reportedly one of the sticking points in this whole contract has to deal with this upcoming lockout that's coming in 2012. Lockout? Are you kidding me? And now I'm hearing that the collective bargaining agreements are up for the NHL, NBA, and the NFL all in the next couple of years. Look, didn't you guys learn the last time? Stop with the talk of all the work stoppages. Isn't there enough news out there right now about unemployment being a really serious problem here in America? Do you really think it's wise to shutter your sports now, further alienating your fans who have stood by you through thick and thin? Believe me, neither side, from the owners to the players, is as thin as they'd like to make you think. But enough about that. Back to King Kovalchuk Watch 2010. There are some in the media who say that Ilya Kovalchuk should take his time and be left alone when making this huge decision. Say like Darren Tolinsky from TSN, who states... Only nine players have scored more goals before their 27th birthday. Eight of them are already in the Hall of Fame. And the ninth is Yarmir Yager. He's obviously going to join them. But then again, Scott Cohen from TSN responds with, None of those nine guys have less than 30 playoff games under their belt before the age of 27. While you can't fault Ilya Kovalchuk for taking his time to make one of the biggest decisions of his life, he's eventually going to have to, I don't know, make a decision? Honestly, I think he should start adopting Tyler Durden's attitude towards life. I say never be complete. I say stop being perfect. I say let, let's evolve. Let the chips fall where they may. It's the evolving part that I'm trying to bring forward here. Ilya, you need to take that next step. You need to take that next step to evolve into the player that we all know that you can be. And by taking that next step, you're helping the franchise take their next step into evolving into the franchise that they're being positioned into becoming. But until he does sign on the bottom line, I'll be here sitting in front of my computer, hitting refresh to see what the latest baseless rampant speculation, I mean, inside information everyone seems to have about when Kovalchuk's going to sign with the Kings. So until then, I'm Matt Murray from LifeInHockeyWit.com. Wait. Let's go Kings.